Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Radha here. In the last couple months since I've started my Shopify journey, I've been generating more than $10,000 per product per month consistently. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I find these winning products for myself. The methods, tips, and strategies that I'll be sharing are all free and almost never covered by other YouTubers. So you'll definitely be able to use these to find your own $10,000 plus monthly dropshipping products pretty much immediately. Aside from the resources that I'll be mentioning throughout this video, as always, I'll also be attaching my free template down in the description below, where I'll list off the strategies, off the tips, and the keywords and search terms that I've been using throughout this video. So that by the end of it, you can use that alongside with what you have learned to start your own dropshipping store and find your first winning product in as little as an hour. So let's get into it. So the first method I'm going to show you guys is how you can use social media to find your winning products. Starting with Facebook. So just navigate to your Facebook account and type into the search bar something like get yours now, get yours here, 50% off now. And then you'll have all of these ads popping up everywhere from different dropshippers different e-commerce stores because guess what most dropshippers and most e-commerce stores like to use the same kind of ad copies where they will always write get yours now get yours here link down here stuff like that once you find something that you find decent on Facebook what you then want to do is you want to go to the ad library so you can go to page transparency see all scroll down and go to ad library and then this will show you how many ads this store is currently running so you can check out how many ads they are running and you can just based on that you can see if basically running ads then you know that the product must be selling for them otherwise they wouldn't be spending money on ads also make sure that you look at the date as you can see these ones were started march 17th so that tells me they just started testing these ads and there's no point i wouldn't consider these winning products since they're just testing but if we scroll down and we find something that has been running for way longer with multiple ad copies then we know that must have been selling for them otherwise they would have turned that off so that's how I use Facebook to find winning products next you could do the same thing with Instagram with YouTube Pinterest TikTok so forth for Amazon and YouTube I like to use something like hashtag Amazon finds and then you will have a lot of people posting different products that they think are great Amazon finds like this rack here and a lot of times all of these products can be found on AliExpress as well since a lot of people are dropshipping through Amazon you can just go through that hashtag you can also use other hashtags and search related terms like wow products amazon the x means some sort of industry or niche for example amazon beauty finds amazon car finds or you can go with best beauty products best car products best dog products also if it's something like beauty you could also use a something like beauty hacks beauty hack products and so forth so you can again same thing with youtube i'll generally just type in something like beauty products products hacks and just check this out then and you see people actually posting different products here same thing with TikTok. It's not much different. I would say the only one that's really different in between this list is really the Facebook. Facebook works better if you go for the actual terms that will be used in the ad copy. These categories here don't necessarily have ad copies associated with them, but rather descriptions. And they are most more so the descriptive terms used in the titles of the post, the video, the hashtags. And now strategy number two is I go to sources that are either providing you with their own winning products like Amazon, Light in the Box, or I go to sources that actually research winning products where you can just check them out for free. Start with Amazon bestsellers. You can literally just type that into Google and you will get to this page. Once you get to this page, you can then select a category here on the side, whatever you want. Let's say you were in the baby niche. Here, I generally just look at the products that have the best sales, but that I could also resell. This little carrot toy, for example, you could easily find that on AliExpress and it has 13,000 reviews. So that tells me this is a really good product. Once I find a product like this, I generally go and check out the ratings. <laughs> but this is a great picture, by the way. If you can find something like this on AliExpress, maybe you could like use this picture for an ad copy. This would be... Uh, a great ad copy picture actually and then i just like filtered how recent are these reviews if they're like within the last couple of days and there are many reviews that tells me this is a great product i also check out like the one star two star three star reviews just to like see what people did not like about it the next thing i use is light in the box light in the box is basically a website very similar to aliexpress their shipping times do tend to be slightly uh, better than aliexpress but you can also use light in the box instead of aliexpress 
actually if you did want to drop ship through them instead of aliexpress however i mostly use them just for like product research because you will see they have three categories one is for new products one is for all-time best sellers one is for monthly actually four they have one for top sellers online let's click on that too top sellers would be more like those i guess so that's not applicable really then you can go to the monthly ones and i can show you there which products are selling right now well for them like this home decor lamp then they have new best-selling products and when i look at these i try to look at the ones that have like a good amount of likes if people liked it that means they were interested in their thinking of coming back to buying it later a ring light for example this phone ring light is doing kind of well and then the same thing for all-time bestsellers i personally prefer the all-time bestsellers just because it tells me that these are selling and oftentimes these tend to be many more likes let's say we go for this one you can see it costs approximately 13 for if you want canadian you can also find a lot of other products by looking at the you may also like just go through it look at the reviews how recent are those how many reviews are there and then i go and look up the same product on aliexpress and see how many reviews and likes it has on aliexpress and if it would be worth it to drop ship this and next we have ecom hunt which is basically the site where you can sign up and they post new winning products daily i personally find that you don't need to necessarily go for a paid version and basically what the paid version allows you is it will show you these winning products that are locked so you will be able to see the newest winning products right away whereas um, if you don't have the paid work version you generally have to wait i think two or four days something or something like that and it doesn't show you all of the analytics however it's still free to see all of these products here so if you did not want to pay you can even go with those i find even the these products here tend to be worth it a lot of times so as you can see when you have the free account it only allows you to save a certain amount of products you can see the analytics here it shows you how often this was searched on google trends margin scores are good aliexpress interest how many people are selling it the selling price for this product is the cost what your profit margin would be and if you have the paid membership it also gives you all the links like the aliexpress link the another link to a competitor who's selling it what the facebook ad would look like what they would suggest for that as well as what kind of influencers would be great for this product but yeah so you can go with the free version here if you are okay with spending 30 bucks per month you can also do that or you can pay once the 30 bucks once and then just keep on use it as long as you need and then get back to the free free version because you can cancel anytime and then there's pocket this pocket is basically another version for aliexpress where you can drop ship products through spocket however most of their suppliers are either us or europe based so there's better shipping times better quality better reliability here but keep in mind that i that because they're us and europe based the products also tend to be more expensive in my opinion regardless though the stuff on spocket is quite unique a lot of times unlike stuff you would be able to find on aliexpress so once you're on spocket you want to go to filters and then go Oh, click on bestsellers you can also click on premium actually if you really care about discounts and fast shipping there's also an option for top suppliers you can arrange your cost if you want it from a specific country yeah here it shows you this watch for example apparently is a bestseller it's also highly discounted and fast shipping once you do find something that you like for example dog running leash you do want to make sure that you check it out see how many product photos there are and make sure you look at the shipping and processing times because a lot of times not not a lot of times sometimes i've noticed that it says the shipping is only like 8 to 14 days and i'm like okay that's not too bad but then it tells me processing is five to seven days which makes this like pretty much three weeks and that tells me that these people are not based in the u.s as they claim they're most likely based in china and just saying they're based in the u.s now let's say you have found your winning product you kind of know what type of product you would want to go for after you have search to all of these sources how would you know if it is a winning product though what would you need to look at what kind of reviews what do you want to look out for what do you not want to look out for but i'll just go quickly through this the first thing is if you are going to drop from drop ship from aliexpress i recommend you look at the aliexpress orders and the aliexpress reviews another way to know if a product is doing really well is by going to amazon reviews 
We could then either try to drop ship directly from Amazon, we could drop ship from AliExpress, or we could go back to Light in the Box and drop ship this bed probably as well. But you can also use the Facebook ad library, just like find one of your competitors, find a competitor, somebody who is selling a similar product to yours and see if they're running ads, see how many ads they're running. Because if they are running a lot of ads that have been there for longer than a week, then you know this product is selling for them. And then last but not least, you can use uh, Google Trends. I will just like type in something like dog bed and I'll see if the product is overall trending. So it, this kind of shows me that it has started trending a bit more. It's kind of going down, but it's not bad. It's kind of consistent at least. It's not having huge drops. The dog bed here is staying consistently in a decent place. And if you want, you could then also compare it to other things. Like if you are undecided between two products, let's say dog bed and baby toy versus dog bed. Yeah, so you can see people are looking for dog beds way more than they are looking for baby toy. Maybe then you would decide to go with the dog bed instead of the baby toy if you know that the dog, dog beds are overall more popular. You can then also just scroll down and look at the different states, see what countries depending on how you set this up i'm looking at the us only also look at the related searches here finally last but not least if you are using a source such as aliexpress light in the box amazon whatever source you are using to drop ship your products make sure the product listing itself has great videos great product photos or that you can find those online somewhere else without copyright infringement that said however you do not necessarily need to take only the pictures from your supplier on aliexpress you you could just type in dog beds into AliExpress and take pictures from any any um, AliExpress supplier that ha sells the exact same bed here. So it does not need to be one supplier. And also, let's say you go on Fiverr to get your ads done, like videos. A lot of these Fiverr suppliers know places and resources of where to find product images. So you could also just contact them and ask them for like a custom gig. And yeah, as mentioned, so you can see there are a lot of different product images you could take from other suppliers that you don't necessarily need to just take from your supplier. Obviously, I do not recommend going for something that's this badly photoshopped, like home Holy, what were these people thinking? This is a great product photo, but this? What is that? Oh man, AliExpress is something else. So don't go for really badly photoshopped pictures, obviously. And that's how I've been able to find my winning products that have generated me more than $10,000 per product consistently over the last four months. Pretty easy. It took me about an hour or so to find a winning product. It's not very complicated, you guys. It's quite simple. The only thing is you got to make sure that your product really is unique, that people would want to stop scrolling if they saw it on Facebook or Instagram or whatever ad platform you are using. And that means you need to have great product photos for or product videos for your product. And it needs to be something that ideally solves a need. If it doesn't solve a need, as mentioned, it most definitely even more so needs to be very unique and very personal to the customer if possible. Something like a custom product. Also, I'll be dropping this free template that I was using throughout the video down below with all the keywords, the search terms that I'm using to go through these social media platforms platforms as well as other tools that I was using. I've also added a little bit more to this document, little notes here and there, some like points and reminders for you guys when you start out looking for your own winning products. That said, I hope you learned something new in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I love answering questions. I'll do my best to answer every single one of you guys. Please smash that like button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And if that helps me, I produce more content and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out at least two new videos related to dropshipping, e-commerce, and making money every week. And you wouldn't want to miss out on that. That would be very sad, both for you and me. So yeah, it has everything. Thanks, you guys, and cheers.